U92, I'm JR the Superstar. I got a special guest with me, YG. For one. What's going on, man? What's up, bro? So, um, you know, I'm glad we're meeting in uh, Utah, not LA. Because mm -hmm. I heard we don't we don't want to go to LA. Ah, <laughs> man. Yeah, yeah, man. And I want to say, man, the, the, your, your still brazy is dope. Good like, man. you know, when I'm from the East Coast, and it, I still felt the, the West Coast vibe and riding to it, mm -hmm. and I understood it. You know what I'm saying? The, one of the tracks I want to talk about real quick is uh, F. Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. You know, um, Rolling Stones, a lot of people uh, uh, posted about, you know what I'm saying, the campaign ad, and you did a video and stuff like that. I heard you got a cool remix coming out. Mm. <laughs> somebody, somebody dropped that dime on me. Yeah, we got some shit coming. Cool, cool, cool. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, one of the things I have to say uh, that I love about about the album, man, is I, I, I saw that you're using your platform to actually talk about political stance and also talking about what's going on in, the, you know, in your neighborhood. And uh, it reminded me of a little bit of Tupac, mm. you know, because that's one of the things he did. He still talked about what was going on around him, but he also enlightened people you know, uh, 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 on better situations and saying he was conscious of what was going on in this community, you know what I'm saying? And, and it's, when, when going through Still Brazy, like, was that the plan or were you just writing? No, nah, like, when I went into um, Still Brazy, it was called Still Crazy at first. I mean, the first record I recorded for that album was Police Get Away With Murder, mm. but I ain't had plans on doing no other records like Fuck Down Trump or Blacks and Browns when I did that. Those records just came with, you feel me, me me working on the album for how long I worked on it and shit kept happening. Same time I was working on the album. So we was hearing about all the stuff, seeing it on the news, talking about it, and you feel me, me and the homies. And uh, you feel me, everybody was feeling some type of way. And you know, like, I'm the type of dude like, we either gonna talk about it or we gonna do something about it. I mean, we, we ain't gonna talk about it for too long. Either we gonna do something about it or we not. So. We was talking about all those things, so mm -hmm. I just started like speaking about it in records, and um, yeah, that's how those records came about. So I, uh, I saw the news that uh, Snoop Dogg and the game together they, uh, they they talked to the police chief and the mayor. What are your thoughts about that? Like really trying to dig in. I mean, talking to them like it looked good in the media, mm -hmm. but it's like man, I feel like it's. It's, Being it's a dead deeper horse. than no. Nah, it's just it's deeper than what we even know, what we think. Like I feel like all oh, this is part of somebody playing. You feel mm -hmm. me? And um, because it's been going on and like how it's been happening, like it's been going on. Yeah, I think the cameras. Like I think you know, the social but media. But nah, man, because it's been cameras out here since like mm -hmm. it's been social media since MySpace. Yeah, you feel me? <laughs> true, so, true. It <laughs> feel like 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 around the time. Um, or the Mike Brown situation happened, it just kept going after that, like, stupid. Like, mm -hmm. th you feel me? That's just how I feel for me. Yeah. And um, so I feel like it's a part of some plan that's behind the scenes that we'll never know about. You feel me? That's how I feel. Yeah. Because it's like, they keep doing this, and these officers just like... Getting off. They, yeah, they getting off, and it keep happening, and they getting off, and it keep happening. You feel me? So it's yeah. like, bro, like... What's the what's the ultimate motive? Like yeah, what's going like, on? Yeah, you feel me? Like there's some higher power shit that we don't even know about. So I feel like like doing all the like the coming together is good to be coming together because it's real shit going on and it's a, it's affecting our our people, you feel mm -hmm. me, our race. You know, so we coming together and we standing up and we speaking about it. But like I don't feel like that's gonna change. You yeah, me the behind yeah. the scenes plan. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, like, know, how do you change it though? That's what I'm trying to really trying to figure out. I'm not out. even gonna talk about all that. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. Because that's what, I, like I, when I think about it. When I think about it, I'm like, I see the marches, I see the pictures, I see the rest in peace hashtags, and it's really starting to get kind of old. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, and bro, you, like, you like, damn. What, what to do? Uh, how many hashtags we gonna put up? Man, sad G. Yeah. So. Um, so I wanted to also talk to you about, you know, your project and the concept. Um, so my, one of my favorites is, uh, Gimme Got Shot. And I don't know why that is my favorite, but that's my joint. Like, uh, who produced that one? My young boy, Swish. 
Okay. All right. So do you have in-house producers and stuff like that, or? Oh uh, yeah, I, got, I mean, I got like 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 homies and, and like I got people out. Got you. Hit up. We got like one in-house producer on the way, you know. Cool. But yeah, like everybody else, been like Terrence Martin, P. Low, Hit Boy, Rants from Fifteen Hundred, um, Swiss, my young boy, he did like majority of the album. Um, uh, 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 who else up on that joint? B, who was the producers? I think that's everybody. Yeah. I think. So, I uh. I'm trying to. <laughs> <laughs> other thing ain't getting no play. <laughs> <laughs> so, man, when it comes to the West Coast sound, man, it's, it's, you haven't, you haven't went away from it. Like, you like, yo, I'm, I'm a rock from where I'm from. And, and, um, have you ever tried to do anything different? Or are you just like, yo, this is me. I'm not trying anything else. I mean, you yeah, like I just been doing me, G. Yeah, like yeah, like the whole time. Cool, 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 mm-hmm. man. Yeah, keep doing you. Cause like I, I said, feel like that's what like a lot of these artists not doing. They ain't sounding like where they from, so yeah. it's confusing and it's not really doing nothing for the real like hip hop. Like, yeah, like where people from and they they markets because everybody making the same similar sound music and it's just like. It's cool for right now, but it ain't going. It ain't going. It's not going to be timeless. Ain't gonna last. Exactly. Yeah, yeah and that's. Timeless. I think that's what you. Like, what you want. Back in the day when Snoop and Biggie and all them dudes was coming out, you listen to a, a Biggie album sound, you feel like you on a corner of Brooklyn somewhere selling some drugs. Or yeah, some shit. exactly. You feel me? Yeah, I never been. I, I think I've only been to LA once, but listening to your album, like I, 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 I see the story. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I hear what you're talking about, and I feel it, and I get it. You know, and uh, that's that's how your album sits with me. And you know, I, I know you do movies and stuff like that. And I can I can tell you use what you do in the movies and p- kind of put it in your your music. No, I do. I oh, use what I do with my music and yeah. write movies. Okay, okay, okay. Because the music shit is what triggered the movie shit. Gotcha. I mean, you that makes me? sense. That makes sense. When I found out I was a, uh, um, my rap style is storytelling. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, I can write movies then. So how did you find that 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 style? Like you like oh yeah, this I is, fu- I it just came. It. That's just how I rap. Gotcha. Okay. You feel me? So what's next on the movie tip? Man, everything. You know, we got some. Like, I'm writing some movies, like some cool. I got some cool. I heard scripts. you. I heard you cool write movies on, on the on the tour. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I mean, we, right now we getting the clothing line business and all that shit. Okay. We, we doing that on the bus right now. I got my boy Gavin out here on the road. Be knocking out designs, doing the creative side of things for the next capsule and the shit for next year because we going in stores next year. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So 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 we got to be ahead of the curve. So is it gonna be like that. a boutique store or like? No, we going, going like in, in in like stores. Like you know? Macy's and like something like, like I don't know you know, if we're gonna you know go to talk, Macy's. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna, go <laughs> we gonna go and we gonna keep this shit real like exclusive. Gotcha. Okay. Exclusive. Okay. So we gonna be in the cool stores and probably like. One store in the mall, they coolest store in the mall. Yeah, you know? yeah. You familiar with uh, we brand- DTLR? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's all in the south and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's we just from. trying to build a brand that you feel me that's around for twenty years plus because it's easy to like being an artist. You can sell clothes and all that shit to your fans because you an artist. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So we really taking an approach that artists wouldn't take. Like we really like now nah, we are gonna do this like the right way. Like even though we can go and like. We can go straight to all the big stores and probably make a whole bunch of money real mm-hmm. fast. But in two, three years, the brand gonna be corny and watered down. So you can we really be, trying to build a real, we really building a real brand that's gonna be around for. Got you, got you. Yeah, you don't want it to be like, uh, you know, oh, it's our artist merch. You want it to be yeah, it's like a clothing yo, line. It's a clothing line. That's brand. I, I, I correct people when they say, yeah, I need some merch. I say this four hundred clothing, nigga. Yeah. So you yeah. Merch, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get it right, baby. Yeah, get it right, get it right. Yeah, yeah, that's tight, yeah. man. Well, YG, man, I appreciate you stopping by. Well, I'm beast. let me stop by. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You 92. <laughs>